she has some views um, that may present some problems for teachers in terms of trust. Teachers Union President George Parker is watching Ree closely. We have to move the discussion away from hiring and firing of, of, of ineffective employees and begin to move the discussion to what kind of supports are we going to put in place in our district to support teachers and children. While Ree was seeking greater control over her central office, the contract with the teachers expired. Uh, Chancellor Ree, could you tell us, are you seeking the similar type of authority to allow you to uh, uh, fire teachers in the future? Absolutely. We have to ensure um, in whatever contract that we have that we are able to remove ineffective teachers from their positions. We also Ree will have to negotiate a new contract with the teachers union in the coming months. Many expect her to focus on hiring and firing. The, teachers who are the chancellor already has more than enough authority to remove from the system any teachers that are deemed ineffective or incompetent. I cannot at this point imagine what, any, what additional authority the chancellor would need in order to remove ineffective teachers. I think we make often an assumption in a very naive way that when you enter a broken school system that the people are broken who work there. Ree's critics include Arlene Ackerman, former head of the D.C. schools. I would say take a look at, this, at the systems that are in place. Make sure you've done everything to fix those. It's easier to focus on people than to actually fix a broken school system. For me, this is not about firing people and that's going to solve the problem. What's going to solve the problem is creating a culture of accountability in the central office first and then eventually everywhere in the school district. Does this legislation have any national significance? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I hope that everything that we do in some ways will have reverberations across the country. Pushback against Ree's plan has begun. At a recent 10-hour public hearing, some of the strongest criticism came from the teachers' union. We feel that this legislation removes due process for workers. And we are not of the mindset that removing due process for workers is in any way going to improve student achievement. Children Among Ree's supporters was parent level. Mary Siddell. But we are shackled by the bureaucracy of the central administration of DCPS. I am amazed at the amount of money that gets sucked out of our school by the central administration. I believe that the public is behind me in an unbelievable way. I mean, to the level that, you know, on the weekends I'm in the grocery store, <laughs> I am like in my flip flops and, and people come up to me and they say, thank goodness you're doing this. You can't do it quick enough. Don't give up. For now, Michelle Ree's plans are on hold. The city council expects to vote soon on her request for greater control. Next up, negotiations with the teachers' union. In his next report, John will update the progress in the New Orleans public school system under their new superintendent.